2023 and you're getting laser disc signed. Out of space review. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about my experience in Japan at the Toku Spirits event, who I met and what I got signed. Toku Spirits is a event group from the Philippines that cater to Kamen Rider and Super Sentai fans. And they try to cater to an international audience because they've been bringing actors from Japan to America for a few years now. They're just doing so good. They also bring guests to Japan World Heroes. So for example, this year they got uh, Go On Red, Ultraman Gaia, and Kamen Rider Gaim. So that was crazy. I wish I could go. So it was held at the Kanda Myojin Hall near Akihabara, like a suburb over, on October 21st, 2023. They took me to this special area with the English speaking staff where I was able to redeem my tickets. I personally got a fast pass, which will come in handy very soon. I'm in Japan. I'm here for Tokusatsu. I'm going to get a lot of signatures and photos. Please note, this is their first event that they're running in Japan. It was bound to be a little shaky to begin with. The hall had two sides where they had the guest tables, one side here and one side there. The right side was going to be all signatures and then the guests on the left side were going to be all photographs and then they were going to do a changeover. So I lined up on the right side first because I wanted some signatures. What guests were there? So as you can see from this picture here, here are the guests. Now from these guests, I'm going to circle the ones that I came to see. There they are, they're circled. These are the guests I've come to see. There wasn't much of a line for Keisuke Tsuchiya. So I decided to start with him. 2000 yen, so let's start the tally. 2000, boom. What did I get signed? Now I do have the Aura Changer already. Unfortunately, I didn't bring toys or morphers or henshin devices and whatnot to get signed. But from Shout Factory in America, they have official Sentai DVDs. So the first thing I got signed was my copy of Gosei Sentai Daidenja. Kirin Ranger signed right up here. I thanked him for his time. He was really nice and moved on to his brother. I don't watch B-Fighter, but I do have a friend who will remain anonymous who loves B-Fighter. And at this time, it was coming up to his birthday, so I decided to get him a little gift. So this is Daisuke Tsushia's signature. Um, I told him that uh, my friend is a massive fan of B-Fighter and that he loves Blue Beetle. And he was just like, yes, 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 he's number one. And then he said his name, he was just like, yes, 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 number one, number one. So he was really nice about it. He was a really cool guy. So I was happy to get this one for my friend. Moving on, back to Dai Renger, Keiichi Wada. So as you saw previously, there's another signature on my Dai Renger DVD set. So yes, I did get him to sign it, but that's not all. Now this next item I have already has a signature on it. It's a script. If you know that symbol, you know that it's Gogo 5. Yeah, so in this movie, there's a character called Jiku, who's played by Keiichi Wada. So I already had Yuko Miyamura's signature on it. So now I have both their signatures on this movie script. When they announced that he was coming, I was just like, I'm getting this signed. Now I'm just gonna get all of the GoGo -Go 5 cast to sign it. <laughs> the next guest from Kyurenja was Keisuke Minami. From what I've seen, he hasn't been to many events in the past. So this was a good opportunity to get his signature. For this event, I purchased a photo book. So from Kyurenja's, at the end of the series, they always release a photo book of the main human cast. I got this one. This is the 12 Twinkle Stars. He was nice too. He was surprised seeing a Westerner and handed him the book. And there we go. Asked my name and signed the page that he is on. The fast pass is paying for itself at this point. For this next set of signatures, I've got to tell another story. I love going off shopping in Japan. In a little bin, there were laser discs. Now, laser discs, if you don't know, is like the precursor to DVDs. The first item that I found a Shariban laser disc. Now, I was just like, wait a minute. Shariban is going to be at this event. And this item was under 500 yen. I'm going to get it signed because that will be crazy as. Turning it from a $5 item to something that could be worth just a little bit more. But I just find it silly. So the guest was Hiroshi Watari. Get them signed. 2023 and you're getting laser discs signed. <laughs> now on the other side was the photo side. So the next person I lined up for was Takumi Hashimoto. 
who's from uh, Juranger as Tiger Ranger Boy. Had my little ticket ready at 3000, let's add it and hand it over and ready to get a signature. Now at this point, they're like, unfortunately it is only photos. Oh, yeah, all right, I'll get a photo. So here we go. I got a photo with the Tiger Ranger. I got two photos. It's gonna eat into my funds, but I need signatures. I need signatures. So I had to purchase another ticket. I did bring this, my Shout Factory Judenja DVD, but as you can see, I'll open it up to prove it. There's no signatures anywhere. I've just picked up the Sharaban laser disc and I was just like, wow, that's cool. What else have you got? Yes, yes, there was. For also the price of like under 500 yen, volume two of Kyoru Sentai Judenja. As you can see here, it's got three signatures on it. So first signature, we went back to Tiger Enja Takumi Hashimoto. So as you can see here, it says Tiger Renja boy with his signature. So I was like, wow, that's so cool. This signature here that everyone's dying for now. Shiro Izumi. I handed this over to him and he looked at it and basically went, I'm not on this. And I was just like, <laughs> yeah, go man, go man, go man. Could have got the dino buckler signed. You're not allowed to get helmet signed, but I would have loved to get that signed. Maybe the Proplica dragon dagger. Maybe my Ocarina dragon dagger. Anything. Next guest is Chiba Reiko, also from Jurenja. So as you saw on my laser disc, there we go. It's signed right there with the love heart. Patera Ranger, me. Very nice. They were all really nice. And that's uh, three out of six of the Judengers signed. At this point, I went on break. Um, I bought this shirt and also I met someone else. Now, because this is not affiliated with this event, let me know in the comments if you're interested in knowing who I met. So I was racing back from Harajuku where the event I was at was. At this time, I was joined by King Cluck. King Cluck was in Japan with me at the time. Who are the guests for part two? Here they are. Now let's circle the ones that we are here to see. Goondra is my number one, so we started with Go On Red. The packaging I have for my Go phone was secondhand with damage to it. I'm not going to get this signed. And it takes up luggage space. So when I was buying the Q Ranger book, I got Let's Go On Go Onja photo book. This time, 3000. Boop, boom. Mahazenkai Go On Red. Plus a photo. Boop. Now I did go to Japan with my Go On hoodie, but I only wore it for this event. And next to him was Go On Black. I've jumped into Kenji Ebisawa's line. With said same book, turn the page, and there we go. Go On Black's signature. But then I also noticed when I was getting this one signed by Go On Black, there was a girl with a Go On poster that I saw in Mandarake that I wanted to get signed. I was like, I will buy it when I'm in Japan. No one will buy that. She bought it. She was on point. Also, she was wearing a go on silver jacket. So I was just like, mad respect. This point, we are jumping into the massive line. Massive line for Go Kai Red Rota Ozawa. King Clock was in that line. He was in that line for most of this event. That's how big it was. He did not get a fast pass. I joined the fast pass line. In front of us was a girl who asked for eight photos. Him doing this, him doing this, the girl doing that to him. It was amazing, it was really good. Now his cost was 5,000, boom. I got his signature, just with my name and his signature. I was like, yep, let's do it. I think I can afford it. It is my first Kamen Rider series. I decided to get Tetsuo Karata's signature. I've watched his shows when I was a kid. I was like, he's right there. It's just 50 bucks. Just do it. There it is. Tetsuo Kurata's signature. Kamen Rider Burak. Now it's time for the fun part of the story. Team Jetman, four Jetman actors at this event. They were selling shirts. They were selling personal shirts. It's like, if I had the money, I would have bought more of this. And Toshihide-san selling his own shirt. I'm like, Kondo Black is so cool. I want it, but ugh, I can't. I start with Commander Odagiri, Mikiko Miki. Surprise, surprise, Jetman. She just went boop, 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 boom. Signed the front. So I was just like, oh, I guess everyone gets their own page. 
said thank you, moved on to White Swan, Rika Kishida. She signed the back. There we go, White Swan. Next, move on to Toshihide-san, Kondo Black. And I got him to sign this side. Just a big signature, boom, 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 boom. Move on to Yellow Al, Tomihisa Narusei. So I got him to sign this side. Even wrote Yellow Al, I was like, nice. Four signatures from Jetman Cast. So cool. I had also paid to go to the VIP event after this event finished. The VIP event was at Takashi Yashioka's. Now, here's Ultraman Gaia. There was a massive line for it. When I was purchasing my secondary tickets, I think something went wrong, or I did something wrong, and I might have given someone the wrong ticket. So. I had a shikashi ready for him, because I was like, I'm going to his bar, I might as well get his signature. I haven't watched Ultraman Gaia, but I heard really good things about it later that night. I was like, I should probably get it. And I get there, pull out the ticket, but it's not quite the colour that they need. I think at this point I'd run out of cash for the day, so I couldn't justify paying for another one. But next to him, they accepted those colour tickets. So with this final 3,000 ticket, I purchased a signature from Juri Miyazawa. Now, who is that? She is Ginga Pink from Seiju Sentai Ginga Man. Now, I have watched a bit of Ginga Man. It's actually really cool. And I got her signature. I, I was really appreciative of this one. This one was really cool to get. And then um, I messaged King Clock. I was like, you're done, right? He's like, yeah, I'm in the big camera in, in Akihabara. I was like, okay, I'll come see you. He's got some uh, photos printed out because he didn't have that much to get signed either. It was a bring your own event, unlike in America or some conventions where you can have photos supplied to get signed. None of that, you bring your own here. King Clark did a last minute, he's like, oh, I can probably get some photos done. A few photos printed out of Gokai Red, Captain Marvelous for Ryota-san to sign. It was still five o'clock, so we ran back to the event and he had an extra photo. So he was just like, here you go. So paying another 5,000, I got Captain Marvelous to sign the photo. So that confirms his signature there. He, like, he's a very laid back, chill guy, like very chill. He asked me if I was French. Why didn't you go back and get our uh, Ultraman guy signature? I only had four shikishis. At this point, I'd done two extra signatures, three extra signatures that I uh, didn't budget for. I also did have a thousand yen note in my wallet. So went back to go on red and picked up one of his acrylic stands. Both King Clock and I were going to the after party. So we managed to find the bar and we head downstairs. So some of the other people that attended were already there. So we made some friends while we were waiting for the guests to arrive. Gone Red was there. Gokai Red was there. Condor Black, Owl Yellow. Commander Odagiri was there. Um, from Turbo Ranger was Turbo Red. There were definitely a few more. And then some more of the staff turned up also. We were just sitting, chilling, drinking, eating pizza. Behind me was the Jetman team. And I'm just like, oh, and then over near the stage was where Gokai Red and Go On Red were. And I was just like, oh my God. Go On Red eventually comes over to our table, just starts talking to us. His English is pretty good. And we're just like, wow. And he's just asking us who we like. I'm like, I like Go On Red. And then King Clock's like, I like Go Kaija. And so he calls, tries to call over Ozawa, and Ozawa's as busy as like, no, no, I'm good, I'm good. He's very, like, like I said, he's very chill, very chill. He was asking the other people at the table and they're like, they, they were Ultraman fans. So Furuhara-san actually got Yoshioka to come over. So Furuhara-san actually got the people who were there for him. And they were just like, their minds, they're like, oh my God, I paid for this and now I'm getting an actual experience with him. Here's a photo with me with the group with their faces censored with Go On Red. King Clock's here, I know King Clock. And then there was singing on stage. So the reason why I know that uh, Turbo Red was there is I found out he was the singer for J the Juranjo opening. They were singing songs and whenever songs would sing, I would go, go On Red would go up and sing it. But when Juranjo started, he got Kenta Sato to come up. And I was like, huh? And then I quickly looked up, he's the singer for that song. I was like, oh, so I was singing along. I know the Duranja song. And I was, I was like, whoa, he's Turbo Red. So if I was to meet him again, I'd get to Turbo Ranger and I'll watch it. He sung the opening, sung the ending, 
sung some inserts, sung the Jurenja song, and then of course when the Gokai just song played, Gokai Red uh, Rota eventually got up stage and started singing it. We were just like, come on, do it, come on, come on, come It was a fun day, but the after party was fun too. Just meeting the staff, meeting fans from around the world. Some of them were from Singapore, some were from America. One, one of the VIPs, like VV VIPs, who paid the VIP pass was from France. And I was just like, whoa. And even Indonesians were there, but people had come from around the world to Japan for this. So there are Sentai fans, Kamen Rider fans, Ultraman fans, Garo fans, everything from all around and they all come to Japan just for this event. It was a great experience. I really loved it. They did announce that in 2025, they're going to do another event in Japan. So sign me up, I'm going 100%. Just wanna personally say thank you very much to the Tokyo Spirits team. It was a great event. So thank you so much for watching today's episode. Thank you for listening to my tale of the Toku Spirits event. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. Liking lets us know that you enjoy our content. Subscribing is great too, because then you know when we're producing more content because it's all about experiences. It's experiences. I give you experiences and what to do in Japan. And I'm definitely gonna bring more toys next time. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.